Welcome to my channel. This is Mario Lloyd, also known as Real Estate Guru PK. On this channel, we talk about my real estate endeavors. We also have the top real estate producers and the top entrepreneurs in the country. Be sure to click the link below with Justin P with his Support Black Colleges marketing course. Also with Jason White's Crack the Code affiliate link, click that below as well. Also to support the channel, Weevil and One Finance, Chase Discover Robinhood and Public a stock trading app. We hope you enjoyed this episode. This is Real Estate Guru PK signing up. Yeah, I ain't had lunch. So I'm sure it'd be like that, yeah, how they show uh the, <laughs> the, yeah, the nigga just playing soccer and he the goalie, <laughs> and all of a sudden Stop he turned into Betty White. Yeah, cause he ain't had a Snickers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So hey, yeah, I might do that in <laughs> <laughs> How's Houston been treating you so far? Uh, man, Houston, uh, 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 Houston have always been my second home. Uh, I, I, when I started out doing youth advocacy work, uh, I started out here uh, in Houston. So I don't work with, uh, uh, I, I don't receive awards uh, from the, what the Tricentennial Park uh, over in Third Ward. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been on the same platforms and worked with Brother Derek Muhammad, uh, Pastor E. A. Deckard, uh, 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 me and Miss Georgia Provost. Uh, so so yeah uh uh yeah so now nah, man I just just been my second home homie uh because most of the kids I grew up with was from Houston uh we all grew up in the boys' home together so uh yeah I've always been back and forward so you know it's a misconception on the internet of uh, course yeah and I get a lot of love here. Of yeah course. I get a lot of love out here so maybe we start with what you're doing now because you venturing into stand up comedy y'all y'all trick me into this shit nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. Nah, I didn't know I was funny. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, and, and I didn't know I was funny looking. I always thought I was cute and handsome until uh, I got on the internet. So yeah, nah, man. Uh, they tricked me into being funny. Okay, uh, okay. And, and so uh, I, I didn't want to get stuck on the internet, right? Because I, I seen people couldn't get past the character. Straight up. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I, I wanted to, I wanted to bypass the internet. So I wanted I wanted to be on I wanted the internet character and persona, but I wanted to leave it on there. Okay. So that was the only way for me to separate myself from that internet character and persona was to graduate to get in a movie or go on stage. Okay. Uh, so that was my goal. So for you on stage, what would you say your style is right now? Now you're developing it. Yeah. You know it's it's, it's gonna I'm, be I'm an amateur, I'm a rookie. Uh I don't know what I'm doing. Uh I haven't learned how to punchline yet. Okay. I don't know how to time my jokes. So I'm the kid in the classroom disrupting this motherfucker, got everybody laughing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Is so, it the character on stage too, or is it just, is this a... Uh, it, it's a kid on stage because I'm vulnerable. Okay. Mm. Okay. The character's strong, nigga. Yeah. Uh, the only way the character evolve if, if, I, if you heckle me. Yeah. And I be hoping somebody heckle me. Then I'm in my natural state then. Shit talking. Uh, but just, yeah, shit talking. So uh, up there just trying to make people laugh on me, I'm like, I'm like a kid trying to impress his friends. Yeah. Making them laugh. New to the school, you know, trying to make people laugh. And if they don't laugh, uh, I feel the rejection. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but, but uh, my creative director mother was, was a gospel singer. Hmm. And so yesterday, last night was my best show, by the way. Mm. I've done 35 shows last night with my best show. Man, ever. congratulations, 35. Yeah, I've done 35 mm. shows. So, but if I look at the crowd, I'm nervous. You got a pretty woman right there. You got a pretty woman right there. You got a nigga right there with big arm folded, like he ready to jump <laughs> on stage. You know what I'm saying? So it's a whole lot of shit out there, homie. Mm. Uh, so, but she said something that made sense probably to any performer. She said, when you look out there and you see them, you see them, but you don't see them, and then you shift into your gift. Mm. So if I don't make eye contact, if I don't look at nobody, if I just go out there, I can shift into my gift. Then I can see these people. But if I go out and see them first, I might be so nervous, I stumble over my words. And, and people who watch me can say, it's like he's trying too hard. Yeah. But I was. Yeah, 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 I was. So, But last night, uh, the, the, the host, the other comedians, uh, it, it allowed me to shift into the gift. And then I felt the love and the energy. Yeah. Yeah, so it, it made it easy. Uh, my Houston show wasn't my best show. Uh, I, I've been, you know, performing and had a nigga heckle me, and he saved me. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? He saved me because now I get to talk shit to him. Yeah. Yeah, so now I get to present the, the internet character that people fell in, fell in love with and mm -hmm. love to hate it. Mm -hmm. uh, and they get to see it on stage, and they clap for that. Yeah. Yeah. So, 
Now, do you get more love or more hate, do you feel like, from what you've been doing? Because I'm under the impression that you're really in a position to try to help people. Yeah, I am. But I do. People don't take your delivery like you're helping people. Oh, mm. uh, it, it, that's because they didn't have a grandmother who would call a baby ugly. Mm. Well, you better go sit your ugly ass down somewhere before I whoop your motherfucking ass in my motherfucking kitchen. Little ugly motherfucker. <laughs> Nigga, her feeling be hurt like a motherfucker. And she said this when you were seven. And until you were 20 something, you been believing you was ugly. Mm. People don't like the truth. They no. can't take the truth. It's some nigga with some nicknames because they look like a monkey. I oh, know a nigga up. named Monk. Straight up. <laughs> we call him Monkey. And he look like a monkey. <laughs> so, so uh, now, nah, man, uh, motherfuckers didn't get to hear that. Uh, man, they used to call people retarded. Straight up. This mm. kid right here is mentally retarded, man. Mm. And so Grandma from now on, when you got home, they call you retarded motherfucker. You gonna sit down somewhere kicking on this shit, acting like your stupid ass daddy. <laughs> <laughs> so, that, that's oh. so you, it's like when, when when mama or grandmama come in and say, who feeded that smelling like this in this room? Oh. And all the boys and they're playing and they looking and they know who it is. And she gonna find out who feed that is or everybody got a babe. Straight up. Go get all y'all funk ass in the tub right now. Oh, y'all stink, Mickey. And now they, yeah. It's no more of that. So you have people, they want to know the truth. Uh, so you got you got the good, you got the bad, and then you have the ugly. It's easy to talk about the good and the bad. Mm. The ugly is, uh, there's a little girl somewhere, she's being molested in every household she go in. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. yeah. The 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 ugly is uh there's a woman who know it and they're not saying anything. Mm. Yeah. Cause they want to keep the man. Mm. Uh you got you got the truth, uh, you got some brutal truth, and then you got the ugly truth. Uh the ugly truth is uh there's nothing that black people in America to that can present to the world that the world will clap for us for in the last 50 years. Mm. No, no inventions, uh, no new nothing. Uh, we're the court gestures. No doubt. We play football, basketball, entertain. Anything outside of that, we don't excel in as a group. Mm. So that's the ugly truth. Mm. Uh, if you just want to hear the truth is, uh, there are more rich black people today than any time that black people have ever lived. Without but they question. Don't, but they don't own as much as the black people had before them who had less. Yeah. They had land. They had resources. Mm -hmm. Uh even though we have more money, we don't have land nor resources. Uh, yeah. They had dentist offices. Uh, they had banks. Uh, they had doctor's offices. Mm. They even had theaters, movie theaters, black movie theaters. We don't have none of that. So uh, that's just the truth. But if you get to the ugly truth, then it shames our truth. Yeah. Nigga, we, we the people who deserve slavery, not our ancestors. Mm. Now, why you say that? Nigga, we savages. <clears throat> I agree. Nigga, we savages. We we need government assistance. Our, our ancestors didn't have food stamps and welfare. Mm -hmm. Gotta get it. And, and 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 when you think about what they built, homie, uh, uh, during their time and in, in, in the conditions that they was under, nigga, they had Black Wall Street. Yeah. Why we nigga? And they rebuilt it. That's what they don't Shut tell y'all. Black Wall Street was really rebuilt. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm from Oklahoma. Come on now. Yeah. Yeah. So, so uh, nigga, they had a Black Wall Street in Detroit. Yeah. They had a black Wall Street here in Houston. They still have a vibrant black community in Houston. Yeah. So, so nah, homie, why we can't rebuild? We had Slocum, Texas, the movie Rosewood with Ving Rains. Nigga, that was another vibe. Why we can't rebuild that, homie? So that's why I say we deserve it. Because when you look at what we are and, and who we are and, and what we've become, we're nothing like those people. What's in our hearts, how we think, how we live, how we eat, and how we treat one another. Yeah. Yeah. So we seem to be, we appear to be savages, homie. Uh, animalistic. Nigga, we have no compassion for one another, let alone just anything. Yeah. I mean, that's real. I, I wouldn't have thought that... Yeah. But that's accurate mm. because a lot of us, we put our individual things over the group. Mm. And as a collective, if we pull together 
like you said, the amount of wealth that we have, we could potentially own some things mm. or produce some things because we don't make anything. Yeah. We don't make anything. Mm -mm. That's a fact. Uh, the, the, there's no way. <laughs> there's no way uh, Kanye West was supposed to have this episode with Adidas. Pull back, and and we as black people leave him on his own. Mm. We supposed to be investing into a motherfucking tennis shoe factory somewhere and start making Rosa Park Adidas. <laughs> <laughs> the Rosa Park one. We supposed to have the king, the, the kings, like the Yeezys. Yeah. We supposed to have nigga the Galvin Longs, the Makai Johnsons. We pulled house of police killing shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I got the limited edition police killing shoes. The Makai Johnson's right here, nigga. Shit, nigga, I got them bad ass 19 Gavin Longs. Nigga, I got these motherfucking me Marcus Garbage, nigga. These bitches clean in a motherfucker. Homie, we supposed to be right now. He, he rolled somewhere, nigga. Yeah. Man, that's real. That's yeah. real, though. Yeah. yeah, nigga, I got these bad ass Nipsey Hustles on right here. These Irmas Octagon Nikes. <laughs> <laughs> we spoke, but, but, but we left him on his own, my nigga, and talked about him. Yeah, yeah. So, so now, nah, my now, nah, homie. So, uh, we 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 fucking up, nigga. If nothing else, as much as we buy tennis shoes, homie, we probably have a tennis shoe factory somewhere in America, treating it like a sweatshop in China with young niggas that get in trouble making cheap shoes, making high dollar shoes at a cheap price. It's part of the community service. Yeah, because, I mean, you're going to work in prison for 13 you go cents a day. That, 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 what's that shit they let you out on jail for? Chain game. That work labor shit yeah, to serve yeah, guy. Yeah. He auctioning your ass out to the local businesses. Yep, yep. So why we can't say, listen, boss, sir, say, we got a tennis shoe factory over here. To make tennis shoe, we go pay him, but we go get some community service too. Why we can't do that, huh? Why we can't create a program, homie, that pay young niggas stipends to learn how to change our alternator? Yeah, we all we I want all the dropout kids. I I I convinced my son to drop out of public school, nigga, in the eighth grade. I talked him out, man. Fuck it, you can be a dumb, stupid mechanic, making money like a motherfucker. Can't read nothing. Them white boy got in that book. You don't even know how to need to know how to pass his ASC test to be an ASC certified mechanic. All we need is a building to put a nigga that know how to fix on car. And we got them everywhere. Come on, mm -hmm. my nigga. Everywhere. Young everywhere. niggas don't even know how to hook up stereo systems no more. Man. Young nigga, yeah, come on, man. So I'm saying to myself, why we can't do that, homie? Why we can't take all the niggas? Man, we can get them young niggas put the guns down, homie, if we give them something to do. Yeah. 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 No doubt. No doubt. Mm -hmm. So I convinced my son to drop out of public school, homie, because I think public school is... is is the fastest way to become dumb and stupid and to be miseducated because mm -hmm. nobody to brief you when you come home from school. It's just like when a military soldier gets captured and he come back to this country, they go to brief the fuck out of him. What yeah. you learned over there? What they mm -hmm. teach you? What they try to indoctrinate you with? What new ideology you done? So when your kids come home from school, you supposed to stop their motherfucking ass at the door and say, hey, what y'all learn in school today? I don't know. Well, good. Come on. I got something for you. Now you'll learn something at home. Because your development starts at home. But mm -hmm. they try to keep us too busy yeah. to well, even have that time. Well, that's when why the kid that's comes why home. you that's why you make they motherfucking ass watch them eyes on the prize YouTube videos. Before they go to bed, before they go to sleep, you start indoctrinating them. Mm. Because they're gonna be indoctrinated, nigga. So you start indoctrinating them early. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, uh yeah, yeah, no, nah, man, uh because indoctrination starts in the classroom. Yeah. Uh, the little bit of black history that they teach us in school, it don't give us the strength we need, homie, to be black and proud throughout our school years. Mm -hmm. uh, it used to be something, nigga, to do a Dr. King speech and, and, and commemorate the speech before the school and it had big celebrations. Uh, mm -hmm. All of that is being taken out uh, and... and, and, and and almost make it seem like slavery was voluntarily. Uh, they rewriting history on us. Uh, the the race critical the, the race critical thinking uh, theory, uh, the race critical theory that they're debating about in, in government and politics. Uh, homie, they're they're pulling out books just saying that we were slaves. Uh, and when you look at our behavior today, it's gonna be easy in, in twenty years for all of these different ethnicities and different foreign people who now have rights and privileges as Americans 
who can vote their people into to, to government seats to say, hey, let's put these motherfuckers back in slavery. Mm. That was a vote. They can vote us back in slavery because we don't have permanent rights in this country. Nigga, we don't even have a permanent right to vote. They keep coming back to re-vote on it. We don't have permanent rights. So, nigga, when, 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 when you see how we acting and, and, and we, we fuel the homicide rate in, in this country outside of mass shootings. So when you see a nigga who will kill two people and, and, and some of our celebrities celebrate the fact that he's killed two people, uh, homie, how you think the world look at us? Mm, like we trash, man. We are at this point in, in, in history. When you look at where we've come from, people who didn't even talk in public, black people didn't even talk in public, homie. They might say something, get them killed. We don't went from talking in public, nigga, to going over to other countries being locked up for yelling in public. What is that telling y'all? The Houston woman from her home yeah. in Dubai. Mm -hmm. Bitch over there talking loud, they put a motherfucking ass in jail. <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they give her the whole two motherfucking years. I hope they make her ass boy, because she's going to teach niggas. Stay your motherfucking ass out them countries. They don't like you neither. They don't like you neither. You want her to get the whole two years. I want her to get four years. <laughs> <laughs> two years in there and two years <laughs> Dubai probation, and she can't come nowhere to America until she complete all her community supervision stipulation in Dubai after serving two years. <laughs> I love it. So I'm dead motherfucking serious. <laughs> what you think about Carly Russell oh. then? Carly Young Russell. lady who um, thought she saw the white kid walking. She faked her abduction. What you think about her? They need to put that bitch in a movie. That hoe need, need a lead motherfucking acting role uh, in one of them brutal porn scenes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She need that Jason Love nigga. Bill punish her motherfucking ass like they did that Adam 22 gal. Yeah, get Jason Love. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. She need a one of them brutal porn scenes to reenact this motherfucking shit she done told her and then give us this what happened to her when she was gone, y'all. We didn't see. And let Jason Love pound her motherfucking ass for how many days she said she was gone. That's 48 hours. That he need to get her. You saw what she done that girl, that Atlanta girl. Man, she had that girl sold for four days. Don't none of us fuck that good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that nigga need to get that bitch. Yeah, whatever she done lied, went and done. Yeah, yeah, she got to come give us detail about what happened to her. Cause we need a lifetime flick movie about this shit. We need a lifetime yes, movie before you're in about this whole but fat. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I mean. So then, Adam Twenty Two, maybe then. What do, what do you think of that situation with him and Jason Love? I think Adam is going through what Bruce Jenner was going through when he was around the Kardashians. Mm. He hearing them Kardashians take all that good nigga dick moaning. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. He wants wait, some too. <laughs> God damn it, Bruce wanted some too. Bruce heard how good that dick is out them walls and walking by them door. Bruce turning to Caitlyn to go get him some of that nigga dick. I think Adam next. I think Adam saw that woman take that shit back. Yeah, I think Adam wants some too. He keep all them gang banging niggas around here. Yeah, I think Adam on some too. This ain't yeah. She lying to me. <laughs> I think Adam ready to be a Susie. What? I think he ready to be a Susie. Yeah, I think it's a little white girl and Adam just ready to run up out of him. Just waiting to be brought out. Let it out. He's just waiting Let to be brought out. Boy, I think it's a little pretty little white girl and Adam just waiting to come out of him. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, they run past this woman and he stood there and pain freaked it. Man, that nigga there stood in the paint and watched that girl take that dick like that. Man, I man, she. Man, that nigga won't dick too. Oh, man, hold on, man. <laughs> That's the only way you can take that kind of shit. Man, nigga running, man, nigga running that kind of dick up in your woman. Yeah, you. And that, you standing yeah. there, nigga, you eyeballed in like a motherfucker. <laughs> and boy, she's squirming and all kind of fake biting the covers. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. Man, he dried her pussy out and he kept plunging her. <laughs> Yeah, nah, he wants some too. He trying to figure out how can he take it. 
And, and where, 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 did you, where did you develop this thought process? Like, and like oh, because to me, that, that's that's like to the next level. Like, well, I heard, oh I, I heard a nigga in prison. I heard, I heard a nigga come home from prison one time and say, and every white boy is a little white girl just waiting to be brought out. <laughs> <laughs> Come home from prison and say that. I heard them come home from prison and say, boy, and every white boy is just a little white girl in him just waiting to be brought out. <laughs> so every white boy in me, he tried to bring the white girl out of him. So yeah, no, nah, man, uh, so shit, I figure that's true. <laughs> so any white boy sitting up watching, yeah, yeah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> and this ain't a part of your stand-up set. Like, no, this, no, this, no. This, 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 this is a natural no. question. No, no, this is no. a natural question. Response to a question. I mean, because if it's not, you might need to get, you I know. You put you, a, yeah, if he's got y'all laughing, I'm going to put it in there. Put yeah. you, <laughs> that's ridiculous. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness. Oh, I wasn't ready for this. Man. Uh, oh. <laughs> I don't know what to say no more. I don't know what to say, man. I'm trying to wipe uh -oh. it off, man. Oh, what, what, what's your biggest purchase so far? Oh, man. Since you made it. <clears throat> uh, that motherfucking Jaguar. Okay. That Jaguar truck. Uh, yeah. I gotta quit saying that shit, homie. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got a motherfucker. They start to ask for They start to ask for, all, they start to ask for big money now. And ain't no more fifty dollars, seventy five dollars. Motherfucking asking, can they borrow twelve hundred? Oh my god, yo! <laughs> <laughs> you said that long though. Man, that's, that's ninety days. Shit. To it is to a broke motherfucker borrow money. Facts. You don't know what they life gonna be in two more months where they gonna yeah. tell you I ain't got the money. Facts. Mm. Yeah, yeah, now, nah, man. Uh, yeah, uh -huh, yeah, now, nah, man. Uh, uh, now. Uh, now, I see how a motherfucker who becomes successful and stay around their family and friends can go broke. Mm. Mm. What you mean by that? Uh, b because uh, everybody leans on you. Yeah. Mm. They know you got it. <clears throat> uh, people who ain't never asked you for money before start calling and asking. Mm. Yeah. So uh, what's your advice to someone on the up and up? Uh, play broke. For how long, yeah. though? Uh, for, uh, <laughs> uh, till you can disappear out their motherfucker. <laughs> till you can change your phone number and disappear out their eyesight and put put your your put your assistant in between you and them. Oh, you that's have, game. You, that's you game. Have, you have for to real. make yourself. Uh, you, you have. You can't make yourself easy accessible, nigga. I, my number was on the internet. I was giving my number to people on the internet one time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I was getting yeah. my phone on the internet. Call me in the middle of the night. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> 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 Him, him, I done woke up out my sleep arguing with this motherfucker. Uh, so, uh, so now, nah, man, uh, you you can't you you uh, because uh, man, most people are leeches. Mm. Uh, uh, most people aren't builders. Uh, most people are lazy. Uh, most people want a savior, and they looking for a savior. Whether it's you to preach God, Jesus, whoever can save them. Yeah, no, that's real. That's yeah, real. so, uh, uh, uh. You don't be doing no saving, though. No, nah, no, nah. oh, I do. Yeah, I'm a trick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It, it, nah, nah, I ain't lying. Uh, I, I, I played a tough guy role. Oh. Uh, because my mother was a loving, giving mother, mm. I took on that spirit. Uh, I didn't grow up poor. Uh, uh, I have a heart for poor people. Mm. Uh, yeah, I always wanted to f feel like what it was like to be poor. Uh, so I would hang with poor kids. My mama bought me some new shoes. My poor nigga, I let my poor nigga friend wear them, go home. Boy, where are them shoes at? Mama, I let Patrick, well, boy, you better go get them shoes. Uh, so, uh, I was always fascinated, uh, uh, with it. Uh, so, so now a nigga got it. Uh, I feel obligated to, to those, uh, who was around me. Uh, who assisted me and helped me to get to where I'm at? Because I had some people at time, nigga. I, I was borrowing fifty and hundreds, you know. So, uh, yeah, I had some people. So I, I make sure those people are well taken care of. That's uh, what's I have partners who, who 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 I've gone in with, you know, uh, small partnerships with on their trucking companies mm -hmm. uh, to make sure I finance it. So so uh, nigga, if all else fails, nigga, I fall back on these eighteen wheelers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I got homies who I help buy boxing, you know, box trucks. Uh, so I, I look for the business-minded people around me. 
Uh, and, and, and if if I'm gonna waste my money, I'm gonna waste it on the business mind. Yeah. Uh, not the people trying to borrow it to pay bills who had money to pay their bills and couldn't pay their bills because they mismanaged some money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so uh, I, I realized the money's not for me. Uh, it's for my kids. Uh, and, and it's for the village, because it takes a village to raise children. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So nigga, I, I try to make sure the village taken care of, and, and, and in return. Uh, I put a nice insurance policy on myself for for the people I really love. Yeah. Yeah. So I found me, to, you know, I found a way to give me a two million dollar policy. So uh, what what I can't do while I'm alive, uh, I'm gonna make sure I do while I'm gone. Yeah. 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 So whoever, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they gonna get taken care of when I'm gone. So like <clears throat> the last like 24 months for you probably been crazy. I can yeah. imagine. Uh, I'm in a whirlwind. Yeah. And and from that. How has the people around you dealt with that change? They remind me I'm still the same motherfucker. Nigga, you ain't no motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I go back home, nigga. I'm Charleston to people. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, I can't get the big head around them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. They still crack jokes on me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So now uh the the people around me, uh, nigga, they ain't gonna let you come around and act like you what you yeah, you bigger than what you were and you done grew up with their motherfucking ass. You got to go on the road to do that. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So uh but that but that keep a nigga grounded too though. Uh because what what end up happening, uh you for 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 some kind of reason, uh fame and, and, and this celebrity shit, homie, uh it, it it could cause you to look down uh at times. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Out of eye or, or even looking up. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, yeah, nah, nigga, I still, I, I'm still grounded at home. Do, do you plan on getting in the movies? Yeah, I got, I got a movie role uh, that I agreed to be in with uh, actress D. Hill. Oh, for real? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I actually got a movie producer who booked me for a comedy show. Uh, he a great movie producer, but he might be a janky promoter. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because yeah. uh, all he know is movies. Mm. Uh, but nah, I'm just playing. Uh, so nah, uh, I got a guy that's, uh, I got a lot of movie roles. Uh, I got people got concepts of, uh, or have an idea of trying to make me the new Jerry Springer. You know, mm. put me on a talk show. Oh, for real? Uh, me being the new Maury Povich, me reading the news. So it's a whole lot of stuff that's being presented to me, homie. Uh, I mean, if you're talking like you was talking about um, Adam Twenty Two on Jerry Springer, I'm tuned mm-hmm, in. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm uh, tapped in. Uh, I, I'm on. Uh, at this point, nigga, uh, I, I became a rat and a snitch because that's what they needed, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I became a rat and a snitch because that's what the internet needed me to be. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I didn't know what to be on the internet, homie. Yeah. I became what they, oh, you rat, you look like Cat Williams. That's when I had the, the dreads the that were at home. Yeah. Then they started saying, oh, no, that's Rat Williams. And it hurt my feelings. Oh. Yeah, it, hurt my <laughs> you, it don't seem like nothing hurt you. You no lying brother. to me. It don't yeah, seem that yeah, way. That's when don't. I get mean. Okay. Yeah, you okay. see me fucking with a motherfucker two, three, four, five days. He done hurt my motherfucking feelings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see a motherfucker that said my name and I really done responded. Yeah, he done said something to hurt my little feelings. Okay. So I'm acting mean. Other than that, I wouldn't be responding. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So the most shocking person that's like reached out to you or most oppor- an opportunity that you didn't think you would have, like that's Kane. What what's that? Uh this Live Nation tour. Okay. Uh yeah, yeah, this 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 Live Nation tour. Uh Live Nation is is is, is almost the, the biggest that you can you can get, homie. You can't get no higher than this. Mm. So so for them to reach down uh, I'm gonna say for them to reach down so low, <laughs> uh, and to pull me up and sit me up so high, uh, uh, I'm I, I still haven't processed it. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying, oh man, they just fucking with me. They gonna kick me off the tour in a minute. Uh, but they seem to be pleased with 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 yeah my performances. Uh, and they get to see a different side of Charleston that they didn't think existed. Yeah. Uh, a guy that's professional. Uh, a guy that's courteous. A guy that's polite. Uh, yes, sir. You know, so uh, even when curveballs is thrown at me where they seen I got upset, like last night, uh, yeah, I wanted to trip out uh, on the inside because I felt like they were fucking with me. They wouldn't let me bring my props in. Okay. Mm. Uh, you know, my props consist of a lot of goddamn weapons, knives. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they wouldn't even let me bring my fake lighter gun in. Yeah. So I'm saying to myself in my mind, I'm saying, yeah, they got their rules, but these rules only apply to us as black people. If I was a white boy and this was a white comedy show, 
they wouldn't have had no problem with me bringing a police issued knife, a taser. So they they just saw the knife. They didn't even look in the bag and saw in the bag I had a hatchet, I had all kind of shit in the bag. But nigga, they had a nigga tripping with me over a gun lighter. The same kind of lighter that Jay Morant said he had that light something. Yeah. They said, man, but it's a gun. So are we that violent with guns where we can't even have a toy gun as a prop? But what I had to tell myself is, this the same building takeoff got killed in. Mm. Mm. I ain't got nothing to do with that. We're having a comedy show. I'm a comedian who want to use props. But they only put those restrictions on us as black people, homie. And they had a nigga come and force it to me. So at that point, I want to say, man, fuck these white folk, my nigga. Fuck this nigga, fuck these poles. Homie, why did they don't do this to Garth Brooks, nigga? But because I'm a professional man, I swallowed my motherfucking pride, cried on the inside, walked away a little bit, talked to myself, said, homie, you trying to go to the next level? Are you, yeah, so get out your feelings, put the shit up. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, but it killed my spirit. So I had to go fight uh, to, you know, find a new energy because I know this is bullshit. Mm, it was yeah. a man killed in this building, homie. We bringing laughter. We ain't bringing these guns to scare people. Yeah. Yeah. What you say that there's people trying to imitate what you've done online. No, nah, man, ain't nobody on this motherfucker hollering about they kill white men and rape white women and saying all the crazy shit I done said. There ain't nobody imitating that shit. Uh, I didn't know what I was doing. Okay. Uh, nigga, I was just responding. Uh, nigga, Bill Cosby had just went. We just had police shootings, the Baltimore Ferguson riots. So, nigga, I want to be a bad nigga at the time. Yeah, yeah, I want to be a bad nigga. Come to the, we had just Gavin Long with Kai Johnson. They just had uh, 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 executed one of the DC snipers. So, nigga, I'm I'm a revolutionary minded nigga coming to the internet, thinking that there's other revolutionary minds out there. Only to realize, only to realize when I get to the internet, nigga, it's a bunch of entertainment whores minds in our hmm. community. Ain't no motherfucking revolutionary mind. Mm -hmm. That's why ain't no nigga head butted no white folk during no rallies or rides. These niggas got an entertainment whore's mind. That's why they always ask about <laughs> entertainers. That's why they can't think past LeBron James. Yeah. Yeah. Nigga, they don't know nothing about nothing but basketball, football, mm -hmm. boxing, uh, uh, and the next Jordan's coming out. They can't they don't, can't name no doctors, no scientists, don't know nothing about no nothing. So I realized, nigga, uh, you the oddball. You yeah. can't beat these people coming on here talking that. So, nigga, I came in and joined everybody. So why everybody mad because I came to join the internet? You can't beat it. I joined it. I yeah. came to be negative, to play the villain. I didn't come to uplift black people. I come to talk down on black people just like the rapper. Dumb, stupid ass nigga. Fuck <laughs> yeah. I come to do it too. The rapper nigga do it. Then they hold yeah. their dick and talk to you with the microphone. When you when a when your bitch wants you and your rich nigga want her. What'd he say? Chris Brown said in that song. When a rich nigga wants you, there ain't nothing Come you can on, do. Come on, who he think he talking to? Hey, your nigga can't nigga? do nothing for yeah. you. Yeah. 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 When, back when yeah. Beyonce said, bye down, bitches. Yeah. <laughs> she wasn't talking to them white women. <laughs> she was talking to you nigga bitches. Fuck yeah. you talking about? <laughs> black bitches. Yeah, you, she wasn't talking to them white yeah, bitches. Nigga, Fuck is y'all talking about, nigga? So I couldn't beat the internet, so I came and joined. I found me a character yeah. to play. <laughs> I keep every day. I keep every year. I'm coming with a new character. Rat William, chicken shit Charlie. I'm evolving, <laughs> <laughs> nigga. I'm evolving, nigga. Fuck what y'all talking about? <laughs> what, what, okay, so what's chicken shit Charlie? A racist nigga. He became the Uncle Ruckus. Everybody said I was. Okay. Rat okay. Williams is the snitch. Yeah. Then they start saying, "Oh, you Uncle Ruckus, Uncle." Okay, they, I'm Uncle Ruckus now. So I hate Asians, I hate white, I hate everything but white people. I hate black people, I hate niggas. I hate, I hate white folks that say, yeah, that want to be black. I hate white folks that got a kind heart for niggas like Democrats. <laughs> <laughs> no, nigga. I hate everything but white people. That's the, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's chicken shit Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> and he recommend prison for every black boy that don't know what to do after high school. He got six months after nah, graduation. Like, earlier you said that you put him in a trade. Now you want him in prison too? That's chicken shit, Charlie. Mm -hmm. 
Who 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 you who you talking to? Charleston and chicken shit child. Go right with you. And then how do you stay in the character though? That that's the thing. Like that's that's the thing. Cause I know you've shown up to interviews. Yeah. And people was probably like, yo, what is, what's happening right now? Yeah, they do. I, I know, know I know that is, I know you've shown up yeah. and it's like, what is going on? So when do you decide what character you gonna be? Uh by the line of question. Okay. Y'all okay. can tell you fucking me about what you're asking me. Yeah, I've been mm. rocking with you for a while, brother. <laughs> yeah. Come on. <laughs> Y'all can tell the nigga bullshit me, homie, fucking with me about the type of question you ask me. Okay. Uh, and, and I learned to do that from watching Dick Gregory. Huh. Okay. Yeah, okay. I, I studied Dick Gregory. So if, if anybody know anything about Dick Gregory, yeah. you see a lot of elements of what I do in interviews, nigga, come from Dick. Mm. Yeah. So uh, I, I, I peeped the plate and, and I listened to what he said before he died. Uh. He said this microphone and these cameras are, 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 are more powerful than your, your five to ten famous celebrities. He said that we can write our own narratives. So that's what I did, nigga. I took that game that he said, nigga, and I became more powerful than these celebrities, homie, with these microphones and cameras, writing a narrative. Mm -hmm. But I had to say things to, to, to get attention. What nigga you know say, nigga, I kill white men, and these nigga bragging about killing niggas. Yeah, it's not a lot. Mm -hmm. So my argument was, <clears throat> nigga, you niggas ain't never killed no white man. You niggas ain't never stood over no white man and watched him die before I have. We didn't run. I, I, as a kid, because I was taught to be racist, but I never inherited it in my heart. It, it was just a concept because I was a kid that, who couldn't grasp what they were trying to teach us, right? We're first generation of black children who get to go to school with white kids after the 1964 civil rights legislation. Mm -hmm. The kids of the 70s and the 80s. So uh, I'm first kid in white communities, homie. Trying to, we trying to embrace Dr. King's dream with our uncle saying, nigga, don't fuck them white bitches. They go holler rape. Mm -hmm. Then you got another uncle saying, nigga, you can even rape them hoes. They ain't going to say nothing. Fuck them. We'll fuck what your other <laughs> uncle said. So you got another <laughs> yeah, uncle saying some wild <laughs> shit. All of it, yeah. yeah, man. So y'all know what I'm saying. So, so as a kid, you regurgitate this shit, homie. Mm -hmm. Because children mimic what they see and repeat what they hear. Yeah. And nothing else. Yeah. And nothing else. So uh, so when I came to the internet, nigga, I'm saying, nigga, you niggas talk about killing niggas. You nigga won't make one song about killing no white man. Nigga, we killed the white man when I was a kid. So that was to get everybody's attention. That's shocking our value. I use that in the schools. When we go talk in schools, I start out telling you, yeah, man, I caught a murder case when I was 14 years old. Woo, 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 woo. My nigga here caught a murder case. Now you got their attention. You're telling them what they want to hear, so now you can tell them what they need what to they hear. Yeah. So I spent two years. That's the game, homie. Tell them what they want to hear. Yeah, nigga, I used to pimp. I used to do this. Woo-woo. They looking at the goals in your mouth. And now you say, man, I'm a pre-law student now with 83 credit hours toward a bachelor's degree before I applied to law school. I do trainings for it. So now they say, oh, what? Woo -woo. So yeah, 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 now. Yeah, now when you say, man, listen to me, homie. Oh, whatever happened to you as a kid is not your fault. They ain't never had nobody tell them that. Whatever has happened to you, good or bad, little homie, is not your fault. But what is your fault, what you do out of it? Yeah. What you choose to do, nigga, when you learn right from wrong, at that point, everything your fault. You can't blame mama. So when they hear a nigga who done told them what they want to hear to get their attention, nigga, they're more receptive to what they need to hear. Uh, that's real. Yeah. It's game-related. <clears throat> yeah, so. Yeah. Uh, so I came to the internet with the same game, homie. Uh, not really trying to explain the game. You know what I'm saying? So once I started getting interviews like Revolt TV, okay, now I'm on a platform where I can explain the game. Agreed. Vlad TV, now I can break down what this is now. But black people were so fascinated and mesmerized and captivated by the, the, the persona and the things that I was saying online, they got stuck there. Have you ever feared, you know, things that you've said? Though I walk through the valley I of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. Uh, I haven't said anything that anything towards something that I don't perceive as evil. Okay. Gang banging, rappers, dead rappers, uh, King Von, Nipsey Hussle, all that was evil. No matter how good you want to say it is, none of it brought you to God. None of it pushes you to do what your parents say do. None of it strengthens you as an individual and as a person. So in my mind, all that is evil. There's nothing lukewarm between good and bad. It's either good or bad, right or wrong. Yeah, I mean, yeah, no black and white. Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, man. So, uh, 
So, no, nah, I, I ain't scared of nothing, homie, because I ain't bothering good people. I ain't bothering grandma and them sitting on the porch. Mm -hmm. I ain't bothering a black woman who's struggling with her, her insecurities and she's going to go get a BBL. I'm not messing with the black woman, nigga, because her mama put a perm on her hair and her motherfucking edges ain't growing, so she wanted that weed. <laughs> I ain't bothering them, sister. You don't hear me direct none of that at that, homie. I don't bash the black woman. I don't talk of none of that. The single mother, I don't do none of that. Yeah. All niggas, gangster streets, that's where I'm at. Yeah. yeah. I address the shit that'll kill you. And I see I'm the only person in America that, that does that on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. I'm the first nigga in America, <laughs> homie, to stand up and say, fuck the Crips and the Bloods on a public platform and didn't get killed. First nigga to say, fuck GD, fuck BD, fuck Larry Hoover, fuck Raymond. I'd have disrespected everything that the streets have love. And I walk amongst these people. Yeah, people get real quiet when you start doing that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, Fact. You know, uh, well, uh, because they idolize those no doubt. people. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, and I'm saying, nigga, I worship God. You idolize and I worship. <laughs> <laughs> How you gonna beat me? <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. How you gonna beat me? So uh, I know this, homie, and I'm arrogant about it. Yeah. Uh, but but what but wait, but what makes my ar arrogance uh, seem to be so harmless is that I'm a small frame and stature. Mm. Mm. If I was a big, tall nigga with muscles, yeah, homie, uh, it, it, it'd be many to sit out on the horse. Yeah. To chop the head off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and my protection comes from, man, that nigga really work with kids, though, homie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> At the end of the day, motherfucker, man, that nigga really work with kids, though. Y'all really go. And then. Yeah. yeah. That's the hedge of protection. No. If I was faking and shaking, <clears throat> nigga, I, I would have been dead. If I wasn't who I say I was with children, I would have been. I wouldn't have this protection. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I done got a lot of my stuff out. What y'all got? What y'all got? I want you to speak about the hype to buy hype program. Oh uh, man, it started in like 2010, 2011. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I'm a, I'm what they call a state baby. Uh, I was raised by the state of Texas uh, juvenile justice system. Uh, me and thousands of other kids. Uh, we're the first generation uh, of children uh, in Texas uh, and in America who, who who began to be tried, who began committing crimes such as capital murder, murder, uh, attempted capital murder, uh, violent crimes in America. So you're talking uh, late 80s, early 90s. So here in Texas, uh, I'm one of the first children uh, in my city, in Tarrant County, to be tried and adjudicated for the crime of murder. Mm -hmm. uh, when I got to, to the Texas Youth Commission, I fell in a group of children in the state of Texas where we're the first generation of children in Texas uh, who were sentenced under uh, this juvenile law called the Determined Sentencing Law where a kid can be sentenced up to 40 years. Mm -hmm. So I grew up in a boy's home, homie, from the time I was 14 till I was 21. Uh, boys and girls home, because there were girls in there too. Uh, yeah, shout out to Kizzy and them, man, or Regina White. Yeah, we it, it was live in there. But, uh, it, it wasn't like a, a, a facility, homie. It was more like a boarding school. Mm. And uh, prior to that, America hadn't saw children committing violent crimes outside of the gang banging in California, mm. the kids in Chicago, uh, the kids in Philly, the kids in New York. And so uh, other than that, it, it, it really wasn't kids killing throughout America. So in, in 1989, 1990... Uh, at that time, uh, a, a Senator Senator Joe Biden, uh, he went before a congressional hearing and uh, he made a bold statement uh, to America uh, in front of the world. He said that there's a wave of children that's been born in this country and, and they deemed and classified and identified us as super predators. They said that we was going to be bigger, that we was going to be faster, that we were going to be stronger and that we was gonna be heartless criminals and that we was gonna be incorrigible, right? So the word incorrigible means that we wasn't gonna be able to change. They said this about us, but they were really, they was talking about the King Von generation yeah, that hadn't been born yet. 
Yeah. See, they talking about the King Von, but they, but we was we was good kids and we could change, right? Yeah, we was bigger and we was faster. They was talking about the LeBron James them generation, the kids who was gonna come out of high school and look like LeBron. So they missed the generation too early. So what what they did? So Hillary Clinton also made this statement. Uh, the 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 Democratic Black National Caucus even got behind this, right? So what it did, it 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 sent a, a wave of fear throughout America, and and this country started creating laws to 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 sentence twelve year olds in prison with life without parole. That's when you start seeing fourteen year old kids go to prison, fifteen year old kids go to prison. Uh, that was never ever before until then. So that wasn't our generation, my nigga. That's this generation. That's heartless and incorrigible. Uh, so hype derived and, and originated from me going into the boys' home, uh, spending my whole teenage life locked up for murder, uh, meeting other children who had committed murder. So all of my partners, homie, all of my homeboys, uh, at one point in time, uh, hype had a, a membership of about 40 men who all committed murders when we was children. Uh, I served seven years on a 12-year sentence. But, man, my niggas never spent 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 31 years in prison, homie, from choices and decisions they made when they was children. Consec they ain't take no breaks. They did this from 14, 15, 16, 17 to they motherfucking 40s. So, uh, so I got out at 21. My record was sealed. Nigga, I got out the juvenile system at 21, nigga. My record was sealed. I ended up going to college because I was considered a ward of the state, right? If you go, if you go to your juvenile system, the, the, the juvenile laws and juvenile crimes don't go through criminal court. Yeah. It goes through family court. So when a kid go through family court, in order for him to get in criminal court, he have to have a certification hearing. The certification hearing will take him out of family court and now place him in criminal court as a youth but tried as an adult. So I never got tried as an adult, so my record my record was sealed. So there's no history or no criminal record of me, homie. I've never been to prison. Uh, I don't have any felony conviction. That's why you see me openly buy guns and show guns and, and all of that, right? So, uh, so when I got out, nigga, when I got 25, I had a son. By the time I got the, by the time I was 30, I, I was changing my life uh, and got in college. Nigga, now, nigga, my niggas now starting to come home from childhood. I'm saying, damn, nigga, y'all been gone that long? Man. But it didn't take that long, homie. Nigga, them niggas could have got what I got, homie. Nigga, we ain't, ain't, nigga, out of 40 of us, nigga, ain't nobody been back for no murder. These niggas are living productive and pro-social lives. It didn't take 20 years for them to get it, homie, as kids. Uh, so just from that alone, homie, uh, God gave me a vision. Uh, to create a youth organization. The word Hyped About Hype, uh, Dewberry came up with that name. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so Hyped About Hype is an acronym for helping young people excel. Mm -hmm. I started out as a nonprofit, and then I started doing youth advocacy work uh, around the country, uh, from Washington, D.C. Man, I, I've spoken at some of the most prestigious college universities in this country. Uh, I've done trainings for the United States Department of Homeland Security. I've trained the state's juvenile correction officers, uh, Orange County probation. I've worked with Harris County uh, judges, you name it, homie. So uh, I've done a lot of work in Austin in, 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 in legislation, changing laws. Uh, I partnered with a lot of different lobbyist organizations. Uh, in 2016, we went to the Supreme Court and we got juvenile life without parole abolished in America where they no longer give automatically give children uh, a life without parole. So that's where my beef is with Boosie because of that, because I worked on that law and legislation. Uh, and, and Marlo Mike went back before the Supreme Court to try to get his life overturned, homie, and they denied it. They automatically gave him a life sentence, you know what I'm saying? And they wasn't supposed to. So uh, I was in on that law and legislation. So that's why I speak on that. Most mm -hmm. people don't know. It's the first time I've ever said that in an interview. So, uh, <clears throat> so, so most people think I just be talking, homie. Uh, I come to the internet uh, to, to play an ignorant nigga fool playing smart. 
I come, yeah. So if you ever, yeah, I'll come to play an ignorant nigga fool playing smart, and I'm doing a good job of it. Mm. <laughs> do you hold any? Do you hold any guilt from that? No, not at all. Oh. Uh, I'm making more money than I've ever made before <laughs> <laughs> in my lifetime. Oh uh, yeah, my kids. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> nah, but uh, but but let, but let me say this. Uh, I, I I have lost some things uh because of it. Okay. Uh, I, I lost a very uh important contract. Uh, with San Bernardino County uh, Probation Department. Uh, it took me a lot to get it. Mm. Uh, yeah, but you know, shit, oh well, I got put on Live Nation too afterwards. So, mm. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I, I know this one thing, nigga, when, when, when God closed one door, five more open, you just mm. have to have the world with all to go knock on doors and turn door knobs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Where well, you see yourself in five years? Uh, Where do I see myself in five years? Uh, I see myself uh, replacing T.K. Kirkland on this Live Nation comedy tour, but as the headliner. That's what's up. Okay. Yeah. It's going to take me two years, my nigga, to get my real footing and, and to really define my niche in this game. Uh, it's just like a nigga getting out of prison. Don't pay that motherfucker no mind to five years down the road. Because 80%, almost 90% of niggas go to prison within five years after being released. Mm. So let him do them five years, and that's when you can, yeah, he got to get past that threshold first. So I'm, I'm, I'm the same way. So let me get in here two years in the comedy world. Once I can get past that threshold or uh, make it through the highs and the lows, because right now I'm on the high. It's going to come a low. Uh, then it's going to come a curve. So, yeah, nigga, once I can maneuver uh, and, and endure and preserve uh, these two years, yeah, yeah, I think I'm gonna be headlining some big shit in three years. Mm. Yeah, putting other comedians on. So is that a goal of yours to have people come behind you, put other people on that you see talent in? Uh, that that should be the goal of every man. Yeah. Uh, if you shoot dice in the hood, nigga, and you're a good gambler, you you supposed to be looking out into the village as you sit up like a line, seeing which one of these young niggas they got to that's worthy of the gift. That's worthy of it. And yeah, you 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 blow life and breathe life into them. Yeah. Or uh, if you a boxing nigga and you got the skills to box, and you see, yeah, you supposed to develop young niggas who's getting beat up on, young niggas who's angry and know how to fight and they bully, and you supposed to breathe life into them. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, you supposed to pass the baton, uh, or else you don't get embraced on the other side. Mm. Yeah, you can't tell me, homie. Uh, as many children lives I've touched, uh, in and outside of these juvenile facilities, many murder cases that I done worked on with mothers. Uh, my nigga, you can't tell me when I die. Uh, when I walk into that light, nigga, them ancestors ain't gonna embrace me. Yeah, nigga can't make me believe that. Otherwise, based on nigga what I've done, that's my confidence of what I know. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> you, you in stocks, real uh, estate? I'm scared of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm scared of them because man can control them. Uh, I know it's a great investment. I know it's a great knowledge to have. Most people should be into it. Uh, but my fear, homie, I keep trying, but I'm like the motherfucker jump roping. You know, scared that jump rope go hit you. Uh, so I try to focus on land, uh, 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 land and insurance policies. Yeah. Uh, I think the fastest way to pass on wealth is, 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 is a good, stable, uh, whole life insurance policy. Uh, if you got to... St- <coughs> If you gotta stop smoking weed, do it. Just to pass the blood test, to get it. If you have to, homie, just do it, it's worth it. Yeah, it's worth that 30 days, two months sacrifice to, to make that sacrifice, nigga, to ensure uh, whatever you can't do while you are alive, nigga, you can do it when you're gone with that policy. Facts. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, you plan on getting a house in Houston? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I wanna come down here with this black wealth. He's lying to me. Hell yeah, I want in. <laughs> I want in like a motherfucker. Shit. Hell yeah, I'm coming. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. You plan on getting like rental properties or just a house yeah, for nah, yourself? No, nah, no, nah. I want a house. I want to buy a house down there. Okay. Yeah, I want to buy a house down there. You know what side of town? Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Wherever the wherever the rich niggas is that don't like the poor <laughs> niggas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the boule niggas. I want to be with the boule like the poor niggas call them. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> the one I want to be around the black people that sit on the jury and say guilty. <laughs> Be the yeah, yeah, the one that sit on the jury just soon that nigga walk in, look yeah. at it, white boy, and say he's guilty. guilty. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do you do anything for fun? Yeah, nigga, y'all see me in them strip club. <laughs> that's that's true. Yeah, y'all see me in them strip club. Uh, uh, I'm a perfect gentleman in strip clubs. Uh, my mind, nigga, I'm paying ties. <laughs> You give me your tip. You give me your ten percent. <laughs> the preacher go sneak it in there. <laughs> him and his buddy, him and the deacon, them they go sneak it in there. So I'm, yeah, I'm going for they go to get to the girl. They go get to. I'm beating them to the punch. I'm getting it to the to the prophet that need the cup of water that they said on Sunday. <laughs> them hoes are prophets. I don't even have nobody. Sir. That's another one you need to punch up. You need, to, you need to you need to get out a few more days to think and put it and put it together because that's, right. that's, right. that's, that's gonna work. That's gonna work. That is gonna work. That is gonna work. So, but I any, really enjoy. He said I was gonna like you niggas. Any, we corn, corny niggas. Corny yeah, niggas. He corny. said I was gonna like any you. Any advice niggas? for young creators, young people trying to get in the game? Uh, man, Thoughts. understand the power. Mm-hmm. Dick Gregory said it before he left. But we didn't know it was going to be called content creation. Straight up. Mm. When he said we can write our own narratives, we are the media now. Yep. Why you think everybody confused? Because all these media blogs giving false information. Mm-hmm. It's too much information on hand, right? Yeah. So yeah. some of us have to be dedicated and obligated to giving the right information. Or we all going to be confused, my nigga. Yeah. yeah. We all going to be confused. Nigga, God ain't in confusion. So when you look at the comment section, we're so divided, homie, because we all have information, but all of us have disinformation. That because we're in an information age. Yeah. So nigga, when you go to Google and you say, oh, room full of people arguing. Well, Google it, nigga. Google tell me such and such. And you click on that first motherfucking thing, typically that's the most inaccurate information you're gonna mm. get. Your first search, that's the most Man, because people pay to go there. Mm-hmm. So, man, go to the third page. Start looking at, if it say Big Butt Media, man, don't even click on it. Because it's, it's not credible information. Yeah. So you get these bloggers who will give you a, a, a title. And most people just go with the title and go in the comment section and try to find the information. And what this, so I'm saying, no, nah, man, it's on us now. Yeah. We the media, my nigga. Yeah. So for, for young bloggers and young content creators, uh, you never have to work a job if you understand the value of con- creating content, uh, editing, uh, understanding your streaming platforms. Uh, nigga, I was on YouTube making $16,000 a month, not knowing what to do, breaking all the rules. Yeah. Imagine if I knew the rules. Yeah, because mm. I, I guarantee you had a content striker too. Man, I lost the whole channel. That's what I was about to say. You had to. I mean, I lost. Well, uh, well, but but I didn't start getting struck till I got up to sixteen thousand a yeah, month. Yeah, yeah. Because then, then you had the eyes on you at that point. Yeah. Yeah. So 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 now, homie. Uh, you probably should have passed it to Big Butt Media. Uh, well, I, I you, you know that you, you don't know. That's true. Because nobody's giving us the game. That's true. Mm. Nobody's saying, man, you can't cuss in the first two minutes of your life. Yeah. Nobody saying, man, your last minute and a half, wind down, wind no cussing. Wind down the cuss words. Yep. Nobody saying, man, when you go to the description, be very detailed in yep. the description and tell them that this is a rated R video. This is no bullet. Yep. Nobody's giving me that game, huh? No, nobody, nobody's telling me, man, they pay way more for pre record. Straight up. And y'all better pick this up right now. They you pay way some game more for, for yeah. pre record. Yeah. Mm. Nobody telling me, Nobody this, tell nigga, me I'm that. going live every day yep. and I'm getting 16000 Imagine if I was pre record yep. with edits. Yep. I ain't, ain't, ain't nobody teaching us. So uh, I had to learn on my own. So uh, they're, uh, they're starting to put content creation uh, in trade trade schools. That's where this is going. Mm. Uh, they're, uh, the content creators are now breaking record albums or now creating musicians for, for the record labels. They look at them and see who they post yeah. on the blogs. Uh, YouTube has a 
as a university. Yep. Most people don't even know about it. And, and, and there's a YouTube app on everybody's phone. Uh, that, uni- that YouTube university, homie, uh, can leave generational wealth for you if you just go in there and play around on it if you're on YouTube. Uh, your children, uh, kids who get new toys all the time, mm-hmm. uh, 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 parents who, who like to buy their kids all the updated toys, uh, why don't you ever show your kids opening those toys, playing with them? Because when your kid get a phone, they go watch other kids and do it, and those kids make hundreds of thousands of dollars a month as your kid log and watch them open toys and go, Rawr! and now your kid want that toy. Mm-hmm. So every new toy, so... Uh, 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 people, people who know how to do things, right? You know how to barbecue. You start a YouTube channel, how to barbecue. The how to bo- the the how to videos pay more than anything. Uh, the, the 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 black platforms who's always talking about beefs. The black platform who's who got a gang member on there, they make less than everybody because they're not advertiser friendly. Mm. The 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 podcast is just updating every hip hop stuff. They're not advertiser friendly. Mm. Uh, the cooking shows make more than anybody. The how to, how to cook, homie. They make the how to change the alternator make more than anybody. We don't know this. How how you title things? Uh, hashtagging uh, in, in in your descriptions opens you up to other people's portals. We don't know, homie. We just on there arguing and squabbling in the comment section. Mm. Uh, he gave some game for real though. Mm-hmm. That's real game. Mm-hmm. A lot of people don't think about um, you turn on a mic, but you don't understand that you're a brand mm-hmm. when you turn on that mic. Mm-hmm. So understanding what's behind that brand, like some game that you just gave, which we yeah. appreciate you doing that because there'll be younger creators, younger people who hear this. You know, they've been following Mario's journey, following what y'all are doing with the show, all of those things. But to hear it directly from someone who's in the process, yeah, you know that that helps also. Yeah, I- I've lost. Uh, I've lost three YouTube channels uh, only to get each one back within a, a week and have it monetized. So wow. every time I lose something, it's going to be monetized within a week. Wow. Mm. Uh, I've lost over I've lost over ten uh, Instagram pages in the last twenty four months. Uh, each one will each one supersedes a hundred thousand within sixty days. Wow. Uh, so I have an audience that follows me. Uh, I have over a billion hashtag Charleston Whites on TikTok. That's just on TikTok. Yeah. That's just hashtag Charleston White. That ain't hashtag Charleston White Challenge. Mm-hmm. Hashtag. So uh, uh, I, if nothing else, homie, uh, I mastered the algorithm, how to get into the algorithm. Uh, it's consistency, right? So I, I learned how uh, how to sneak in. Uh, most people don't upload like the news cycle. Yeah, straight up. But but I don't yeah. just upload. I go live. Yeah. So it, it causes me to interact with the crowd three times a day. Yeah. Uh, that's part of uh, that's part of me getting in the algorithm. Yeah. Uh, I may not get number two hundred likes, but that comment section gonna push me into the algorithm. Nah, that's great, man. It's it's been a pleasure. That's crazy, mm, yeah. really. <clears throat> so, uh, nah, homie, I, I I I'm I'm on here playing, and in my mind, I'm playing against dumb people, so I can't lose. Mm. <laughs> I mean, that's a, <laughs> that's the way to end it, right? Nah, my mind, everybody on, in my mind, everybody on the internet dumb if they ain't getting no money. Straight up. Shoot. Straight up. In my that's mind, everybody on the internet dumb in the mother if you ain't getting no money. And they telling y'all that we, they, they, they tell y'all you can get some money. So, man, in my mind, they dumb if you ever come in to me, because that's the only time I'm insulting you, if you leave a comment. Mm-hmm. It's the motherfucker because in my mind, I'm smart enough to know I've done enough research. I saw the movie Social Dilemma. Yep. I understand. I understand AI technology. The average coming is not a human. Nope. Right now, nigga, it's a hunt. It's because when I end, it's gonna say it was two thousand people in here, but I only see a hundred. Right. In my mind, some of the things that's being typed to me cannot be humans. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And they're telling us that they are introducing AIs into our existence. Nigga, you got to start looking at the motherfucker you talking to on the plane. It may not really be a real... You see, we, to that point... Somebody in here probably not real. 
Man, it might be an AI robot. Yeah. No, man, just what I'm saying. <laughs> but, but, but it's going to go to that at some point. Yeah. The skin is going to look so real. So they're trying this shit on us by way of comments. Letting this motherfucker have an engagement with us with comments. And I'm responding. They picking up on how a motherfucker respond. So, I'm, so that's why I go sideways in the comment section. <laughs> Because I think half of them are dumb and the rest of them robots. So they don't have no feelings. Dumb people ain't got feelings. No, man, come on. Come man, dumb people ain't got no feelings. God don't put feelings come on, in dumb man, come God on. don't put feelings come in dumb on. people. Come. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Man, yes, I pick, they I've do. been picking on mentally retarded people come all my on, life. Man. I ain't never seen one of them cry and act like they feeling with her. Uh, <laughs> That's another one you can punch up. Yeah. You, got, you, got you, you got you another yeah. one you can punch up. All right, Mario, what you got for us, man? So, man I, I was going to say before we go, man, a message for the youth, man. Uh, oh, you got to forgive your mother and father. Yeah. Mm, that's, that's good. good. Yeah, yeah that's, that's where it started, nigga. Yeah, yeah, everything started right there. You have to mm -hmm. forgive your mother and father for what, what they did or didn't do. Okay. Uh, it's not your fault uh, that you was asked to come. You didn't ask to be here. You don't have no choice of the matter, the conditions you was born in, the circumstances, or the situations. Mm -hmm. Forgive them because it's not for them. It's for you to be free in life. Mm -hmm. Man, we can end with that, huh? Okay. Man, we appreciate it, brother. Appreciate it. Really, really, it was a pleasure. Really Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. We All right, we out. Welcome to my channel. This is Mario Lord, also known as Real Estate Guru PK. On this channel, we talk about my real estate endeavors. We also have the top real estate producers and the top entrepreneurs in the country. Be sure to click the link below with Justin P with his Support Black Colleges marketing course. Also with Jason White's Crack the Code affiliate link, click that below as well. Also to support the channel, Weeble and One Finance, Chase Discover Robinhood and Public a stock trading app. We hope you enjoyed this episode. This is Real Estate Guru PK signing up.